Okay, right here we have a customer that brought in a ground force model. This model is similar to the power pole, power loader, and the turf tractor models, and a few other case models. Uh, specifically, the gearbox is the same on these. Um, but if you have any questions about your gearbox, you can go to mypickparticleparts.com and find parts by vehicle and then search for your model, it'll be there. So they were complaining about a grinding noise. Let's find out what it was doing. So if I put pressure on here, you can hear that. So it's this wheel. Now, if one side is going bad, the other one's not far behind. So we're gonna go ahead and replace both of these gearboxes. So the first thing you wanna do is get a flathead screwdriver Take off the center cap. You may have a yellow, some are red, some are black. Either way, just pop that out right there. Carefully remove that. And then if those break, you can get them on the site. Um, and then right here, on these models, you have a push nut right there. That's what's holding it on. So usually it's easy if you can pry it off. Sometimes it's hard, but let's see if we can do that. Sometimes you need pliers, but let's see if we can do it with our flat head. I'll get a bigger flat head for that. And these will probably break, so you can get them on the site. Yeah, there it goes, it's coming loose. So usually once it's loose, it's hard to reuse them. So we got the exact ones there on the site. But Carefully pry that off. It takes a little bit. It's almost there. There you go. Okay, now watch that washer right there. Don't lose that. I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. And if you can see down here, there's the gearbox right there. So you're going to go ahead and take those two screws out. Go ahead and okay. Remove that axle. And that'll be that right there. So next, lift up the rear end, and you'll see underneath the seat there's two screws there, Phillips screws. Let's see. Oh. Go ahead and remove those screws. Okay, so after removing the two screws under here, underneath the body that held the seat in, we took off the seat, and now if you come over here, there's a screw up under here that we're gonna take out. One underneath each fender. Let me go ahead and, I'll move back so you can see that. Jen, can you get a shot of that right there? Yep, For him. Perfect. Okay, so there's a shot right there of that screw. You're gonna remove that screw, okay? Okay, sometimes it gets caught, but there we go. Okay, I'm gonna remove the other side. Okay, I'm removing the other side of the, underneath that fender. There's a screw right there, just like what you saw. Okay, the next thing after we move the screw, from out from both of the side of our fenders. We go up under here, you probably can't see it under the picture, but Jen, I don't know if you can get a shot of that. There's two tabs. Go ahead and pry on those. And pop up here. Sometimes you get that flathead screwdriver to press them in. There you go. See how that came loose right there? Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna go do the other side. Okay, so the next step 
is to just get this back part right here. I've already started one right there. I just put my flathead screwdriver in there and carefully pry it up. I'll do that right here. I'll just go like this, just like that. See how that releases? Now, we should be able to get to here, but there's one more screw right here. You see that, Jen? Yes, Brian. Okay, right there, I take that out. Okay. And that comes out just like that. Now you can see right here, here's the motor gearboxes. Right there. Okay. Now, you can make a note where to put the wires, but just the main thing is to make sure they're paired up. Blue and red, white and black. On most of the models, it's that way, okay? If it's different on yours, depending on what year and factory it came out of, then go ahead and just make a note of it. But before you put it all back together, make sure it's spinning in the same direction. So when you shift it into second or high, the wheel's spinning fast and forward, and this is spinning forward. If it's not, like if one is spinning, left is spinning backwards, right is spinning forwards, or vice versa, just switch the two wires off of them. Just go ahead and take, sometimes those are locked on. So you just take a flathead screwdriver. Let me take it. So you could take a flathead screwdriver right here and press on that tab under there and it'll release that, okay? So if you need to do that, then you can go ahead and, sometimes it's kind of a pain, but if you need to switch the wires, like if the blue one's on the bottom, then switch the red and that, just until the wheels spin in the right direction because your new motor may be winded up differently or wound up. So if you need to switch those, you can go ahead and do that. Just keep them paired up. Don't switch them with those ones right there. So another trick while we got this open <coughs> is if one wheel is spinning and the other wheel is not, you can take the two wires from the good side that's spinning and put them over on the bad side and see if that bad side fires up. If that motor turns after you switch those wires, then in theory the motors are probably okay. So then it would either be a foot switch or a shifter problem. But if after switching those from the good side to the bad side and that motor still does not turn, then you probably just need a motor. So sometimes it's kind of hard to tell, but these are a few tricks that you can help determine. So right now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this, I'll go ahead and take right here, if you could see, there's a spacer, you won't be able to tell, but there's a spacer down here. Once we remove the spacer, go ahead and take out the gearbox like this. And then you just take off the terminals. Like I say, if the terminals are secure, which they should be, just take a screwdriver and pry them off like that. Terminals right there. That was slipped good. right off, just like that. You do the same thing for that side, and just reverse the order. Go ahead and put in your new. We got new gearboxes here. We're gonna go ahead and install the gearbox. This was another great tip brought to you by MyPegParagoParts.com, your source for all your Pegparago needs.